track reviews. Hey, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well, and it is time for a track review. Some thoughts on the brand new Tame Impala song from the project's forthcoming record, The Slow Rush. Kevin Parker's Tame Impala have announced the release of their next full-length record next year, 2020, in February. We had the track Borderline, the single Borderline, drop way earlier this year. Kind of a psychedelic, washed-out, groovy, linear little dance track. Wondering if it might be the same. The newest song here is going to run the same course. I guess we will see. Let me quickly, before we get into this review, shout out our wonderful little charity compilation with proceeds, uh, both streaming and vinyl purchases, going to the Immigrant Legal Resource Center. More information on them and a link to pick up this compilation down below. It is on half yellow, half black vinyl, features rarities and exclusives from the likes of Open Mike Eagle, Palafia, Hard to Murray, Zealand Ardor, Oxbow, Street Sects, Shoo Shoo, Mark Kozlek, Igloo Ghost, and more. There are only several hundred of them left. We've sold well over 2,000 of them so far. So uh, get it while you can, get it while you can. All right, let's uh, jump into this Tame Impala track review. It might be time, Tame Impala, ba bam. Wow, uh, okay then. This track is pretty interesting. Uh, let, let's let's just get into why, I guess. Uh, one thing I will say before I get into reviewing this track, uh, something that obviously will become relevant once we talk about the song more, Tame Impala has been a project for well over a decade now. And I say that and I bring that up because... It seems like the lyrics on this track, which are pretty uh, intelligible, despite the fact that there's uh, a lot of reverb all over a lot of things on this track. And that's maybe my biggest critique of the song, honestly, that it's uh, uh, a little washed out and that some of the vocal melodies come off a bit clunky because Kevin Parker seems like he he really has a lot to say on this song uh, to the point where I, th- I think he is... Um, kind of sacrificing the grace of the melody a little bit just so he can go on about how his friends are moving on and he feels like he's almost in this state of arrested development and he um, is kind of being faced with, uh, I don't know, this harsh reality that nothing lasts forever. I feel like we are witnessing um, Kevin Parker essentially stressing over the potential demise of his music career. Maybe you could take some of the more general statements on that front and say, oh, well, you you could apply this to anything. Uh, but there are also elements of the lyrics where he's talking about, oh, you're not as cool as you used to be, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I mean, look, these lyrics for Kevin come from a very personal place, obviously. And we know what Kevin does as a career. This and things like coolness and hipness and youth and relevancy are often forced upon us as music fans and even as musicians through marketing, almost as if they're a necessity for uh, being able to exist in the music industry when truly and honestly they're not, especially in the digital age where I think musicians have much more control than ever over their music, how they make it, how they market it. Still, Kevin seems to be letting some of these emotions and some of these bad vibes get to him and uh, maybe just spoil his attitude a little bit. Don't know if he really, truly, honestly feels this way currently right now, but it seems like he's at least struggling with these emotions in this song in an interesting way. I mean, I would say uh, to an extent, this track is almost like the uh, danceable, psychedelic, funky uh, version of uh, Losing My Edge from LCD Sound System. I guess it's it's that for a new, uh, more psychedelic, more washed out generation. Having said all of that though, given the lightly pulsating electronic beats, given the 80s synthesizers, given all of the uh, uh, trippy washes of reverb that the track kicks off with, it's almost like I'm listening to uh, a synth pop, dream pop, fusion of uh, some some elements that I would typically hear out of a Gorillaz song, which isn't a bad thing. I think it's a good mix of sounds. And even though the tune, even though the song is a little washed out, what I love about the track is that the 
vocal melodies are pretty solid, even if, like I said before, they can occasionally be a little clunky because Kevin does get a bit wordy here and there. But uh, the vocal melodies are solid. There's good structure in the song. The tune really shines through all of this haze. Uh, again, coherent song at the core of all of this. And ultimately, the uh, the instrumental is pretty varied. I mean, we we never really reach a point where it's not evolving into another phase, but it's still maintaining uh, melodies and grooves that are head bobbing, that are catchy, that are snappy. I mean, that moment where that loud, almost lo-fi drum beat just busts in and just is so bombastic, so fat, so heavy. That's when the track really reaches this peak of euphoria. Uh, but I think the tense keyboards and some of the darker uh, musical elements hanging in the background uh, gives us, I don't know, either either a vibe that's bittersweet or maybe the track comes off a bit um, like there's something just scratching at its well-being in the back of its head. It's just not doing well back there. There's something mentally that's this just itching at it and, and bothering it and eating it from the inside out. And I think that is uh, essentially um, Kevin's emotions that he's dealing with in the lyrics here. Uh, as he is making the song, as he is creating, there is this uh, uh, this feeling eating away at him that, oh, my career, this isn't going to last forever. I'm not as cool or as relevant as I used to be. And I like that that message is thoughtful. It's clear. The way those emotions come through on this track is really potent, and I like that that manifests itself in interesting ways in the musical composition of the track, too. Um, so I, I, I love this track. I think it's really good. Uh, certainly a lot better and a lot more flavorful and substantive than Borderline, in my opinion. And um, I don't know. I mean, The Slow Rush, I'm looking forward to this as I would any other Tame Impala record, I guess. I mean, I thought Currents was pretty good. I loved Lonerism. I thought Inner Speaker could have been better, but there was potential that eventually got capitalized on with Lonerism. And um, I don't know. I, I have no reason not to look forward to The Slow Rush. I mean, it's been a while since we've had a new Tame Impala record, but I think um, Kevin Parker has been doing a lot of side work and production and stuff like that. I think he's a talented artist and uh, composer, multi-instrumentalist, producer. I have no reason not to have faith in his ability to drop another good record at this point. So uh, I guess I'm just sitting and waiting until 2020 to hear what he has to offer. So let me know your thoughts on this track down in the comments. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Tame Impala, forever.